Hello and welcome back. If we have not met before, I am Sarah from Sarah Girl Soaps. I own a small soap business located in Minneapolis, Minnesota. If you own a soap business or you love watching soaps being made, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button. This week I will be making 100% coconut oil soap for my laundry soap, other small tasks for the shop, and wrapping bath bombs and more. So enjoy this week's video. Please subscribe and like and I We'll see you next week. Um, other fun news, I um, I teach dance. I've taught dance for many, many years. I've niched myself into a tap dancer, but I grew up doing tap, ballet, jazz, all that. And I still teach part-time, but uh, a studio, a previous studio or former studio that I used to teach at, I um, a lot of the dance moms have uh, supported me throughout uh, the start of my soap business. And one had suggested to me while at a craft show that um, this might be a fun idea for doing a fundraiser. They just had their meeting and we decided that we were going to move forward on that. So, um, that should be interesting. I didn't think of that as a, uh, possibility or something to even, uh, try to do as far as like, um, almost kind of like a wholesale, but not a wholesale. Um, it'll just be the logistics of, um, a whole bunch of different random orders so I'll probably just select my top 10 cents and that way I know that whatever I have left over after filling the orders um, will still sell really well on my end. Yeah that just happened a little bit ago so I thought I would just kind of uh, document that and lay that out. All right we're gonna go pack this order. So I use the square online or I use the square. Um, I used to use a different platform for my actual website but now I've switched everything so that way everything can get recorded at the store here just um, wholesale orders just everything um, through here some of my wholesale orders I still do it through uh, QuickBooks but um, we have this order I need to put out and get shipped off today and uh, yeah so let's go pack an order I'm going to print my packing slip I have about 30 some odd pounds of oils for tomorrow. I am off to the post office to drop off that order. And then I'm done for the day. I think I'm going to, um, I actually helped my friend bring kids to dance while she works. So, um, so I'm gonna go dance mom tonight. I am at the shop today. Today is the first day that I've kind of officially given myself hours to be here so that way I'm just kind of adhering to a little bit better of a schedule. Um, so, not highly advertised, so I don't know if anybody will actually even come in today, but it makes me be here to work. I am just working on some coconut oil, 100% um, coconut oil bar soap. That is what I use to make the laundry soap. So, um, it's very soft, and it's um, nice and silky smooth. Uh, but it, um, once it dries for a few days or in theory cures, um, I'll run it through a food processor, my little blender, and it'll just kind of finally grate that a little bit more. Um, I have to use one of these, um, coconut oil soap. It's really hard and I actually waited probably a day or two longer than I probably should have. 
Um, but the weather was really bad yesterday, so I didn't get here to do it, but I would not have been able to use the multi-bar cutter, that is for sure. I would have probably snapped every single string. Well, I have an online order that was put in, and I gotta ship that out. And then just kind of still working a little bit more on putting um, all the soaps together up in the front of the shop. So, and then we have some bath bombs done. I gotta still label them, but we're getting there. I got, um, I found this cute vintage uh, laundry or ironing board on Facebook Marketplace. You might be able to hear the airplanes. I'm right next to the airport. Um, so I could display the laundry soap. I'm still waiting on labels to come in. We're just kind of putting stuff together to get a feel for how I want to have everything set up. Then I got a couple of the wooden spools to use, um, just kind of as like a little centerpiece. Then I have all the shampoo bars, the Minnesopas, one of my items that I'm known for. The lotion bars. And then front window display. So, can't see very well, but yeah. And then I have the wall of soaps. I'm gonna get all these bath bombs that we did the other day all wrapped and shrink wrapped. And then I do use the National Shrink Wrap System. So uh, this is a great, I, like I absolutely love this system. It, I absolutely love the shrink wrapping uh, or the National Shrink Wrap System. Uh, it just it's so much easier than just individually putting everything into a bag and then having to heat seal it. I did that when I first started. My soaps are all naked, so I don't shrink wrap or do anything with my things. They just get a sticker on the back of the soaps. I would say like a good 90 or more percent of my customers um, really do appreciate and like that my soaps are very naked. Um, I have the one sticker on the back, but I don't do a banding or any plastic or even the shrink wrap. So, um, however, bath bombs, those are just messy and they break and they just, my bath bombs are very hard. And so I'm not really worried about that, but they, you know, they're still dusty. And also when I'm traveling to markets and whatnot, the humidity and just the elements, I like to just make sure that those are safe. There are a couple things that I do shrink wrap, but um, soaps, it ain't happening. I'm in a little bit of a production week right now, so I'm getting a bunch of soaps done. Last week we got a bunch. Uh, this week I got the bunch of oat or some oatmeal. I got some spearmint, some uh, cocoa butter cashmere, some country clothesline, and restocking on the Minnesopas. So. I have a feeling those are going to move a little bit faster and a little bit more this year, so, yeah. 
yeah, and then these guys are just still curing a little bit of the sunshine on my mind yacht club uh under the spell which is reminiscent of victoria's secret love spell nirvana and we added so i do like if i do glitter i'm doing some without but then um added the eco-friendly glitter to a few of those so nothing crazy but just a little fun little sparkle uh lemongrass rosemary mint been out of that for a little bit white lily and aloe been out of that for a little bit and then restock on the gentleman the pine tar and the hickory and suede which is one of my favorites those are all in the hay handsomes just weighing out the laundry soap these will just be plain unscented and then if you want to add a scent you can absolutely come in and um, I can mix it for you in store and uh, pop it back in the pouch so I just designed my uh, storefront um, decal so we'll see how this goes I just need something to get on the windows for now and I can always change that later. Um, I ordered it off of Etsy with uh, the Blue Design Company out of Wisconsin, I think it is. Let's see here, I think I did the 30 by 30. So roughly like $50. And... watching this week's video if you could subscribe that would be amazing and if you could like this video it's a free way to support me and hopefully I will see you next week have a fantastic week bye